in her golden era, basking in pomp and pageantry, when great legions brought her glory to one half of the world and the fabulous adventurer brought her romance to the other half, when power-mad men sought to inflict their wills on the weak King Philip and a lonely queen sought guidance to lead her people, when one man rallied a band of loyal followers to defy the conspirators, Don Juan, deadliest swordsman in all Europe, fighting his way into the strongholds of the oppressor and out of the dungeons of the Inquisitor, challenging the tyranny of the cruel Duke of Lorca wherever he finds it, as he gives his sword to his country and his heart to his queen. All my life I seem to have been stumbling around as if in darkness. I am no longer... Silence! You have no right to speak to me that way. I forbid you. But I would never have spoken except by your command. Then I was wrong to command you. Wrong to believe that friendship and loyalty could ever replace your desire for another conquest. Tell me, Don Juan, do you hire men to spread the tales of your romantic conquests? Some men prefer the conquest of beauty to the conquest of a throne. I asked you that when I was queen, but I am no longer. A nice would be the only one to know that for just a little while there was no queen. I warned you, senor. This time I shall cut deeply. Be sure it's deep enough. <laughs> 